The Church of Almighty God. Have you ever heard of this group? I hadn't until this morning. And now it features in our cover story. It's quite a fascinating story. The Church of Almighty God first came up in China. It claims to have thousands of followers. It believes that Jesus Christ has returned to earth in the form of a Chinese woman. You heard that right. This is basically a Christian cult. A Chinese Christian cult banned in China now trying to make inroads in India. The Nagaland Baptist Church in India is raising an alarm. It claims that this Chinese cult is already active in the Northeast and it is steadily gaining followers through social media, platforms like WhatsApp and YouTube. The Nagaland Baptist Church Council, the NBCC, has shot off a warning. This is the central organization of nearly 1,500 Baptist churches in Nagaland. They claim that this cult is connecting with people across India and they're targeting the youth digitally. On the 19th of uh, this month, the MBCC issued uh, a statement uh, warning against uh, a certain uh, group that is operating in the region, the country and also uh, around the world. The question that the people ask is that we raised the issue with any competent authority. No, uh, we have not, because uh, this is not a political, social issue. It is a threat to our faith and our belief system. It is against the teaching of the Bible. Why does all of this matter? because the Church of Almighty God has been described as a radical group. It aggressively promotes doomsday scenarios. It claims that Jesus has returned as a woman to China. And according to one report, people with limited education and family problems, especially women, are potential recruits for this cult. The Church of Almighty God is a violent movement. It is also known as the Eastern Lightning Cult. It has been linked with more than 100 incidents of violence. The origins of this cult can be traced back to 1991. Scholars identified a woman called Yang Xiang Bin. Not very much is known about her except for the fact that she was born in northeastern, northwestern China, I'm sorry. This cult says that Jesus Christ has returned in the form of this woman, Yang Xiang Bin. And I must emphasize that church leaders in Nagaland have called all of these claims falsehoods. This goes against the Christian faith. In recent years, China has clamped down aggressively on this cult. China has banned the group. Its members have been subjected to harsh punishment. Reports say they were banned from using mobile phones, watching television, or even reading fiction. True to China's style, the clampdown has been relentless, especially after 2014. In that year, five members of this group tried to recruit a woman at a McDonald's outlet in the Shandong province. When she refused, this group beat her to death. The five accused were caught and tried before a judge. They were found guilty. Two members were sentenced to death. The three others were sent to jail. And such, such treatment is not unique to this group. China clamps down on religious groups because it is officially atheist. The Chinese state wants citizens to know and follow only one religion, the Communist Party of China. So it has made an example out of, the, out of the Church of Almighty God. And it continues to crush all forms of Christianity, or for that matter, Islam, the religion of the Muslims. Reports say the Church of Almighty God now operates underground in China. It thrives behind computer screens. The whereabouts of members are not known. Followers have emerged in the United States and even in European nations. While China has tried to erase all traces of this cult on the mainland, is it using this movement to foment trouble elsewhere? Who is funding and promoting this radical cult in India? Church leaders in the Northeast are worried. This is perhaps another made-in-China problem that they say India must begin to worry about.